In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. May the peace of the Lord Jesus, the love of God, the power of the Holy Spirit be with you. Good morning. Good morning. Today the church invites us to celebrate the lives of two women saints, St. Hedwig and St. Margaret Mary Alacoc. As we do so, let us prepare our hearts asking forgiveness for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty God, pour out on us the spirit with which you remarkably bless St. Margaret Mary, so that we may come to know that love of Christ, which surpasses all understanding, and be utterly filled with your fullness. This we ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are obvious. Immorality, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, hatreds, rivalry, jealousy, Outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness, dissensions, factions, occasions of envy, drinking bouts, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. In contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such there is no law. Now those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their flesh with its passions and desires. We live in the spirit let us also follow the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Bless the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow you, O Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Alleluia, alleluia. 
My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The Lord said, Woe to you Pharisees! You pay tithes on mint and of rue and every garden herb, but you pay no attention to judgment and to love for God. These you should have done without overlooking the others. Woe to you Pharisees! You love the seat of honor in the synagogues and greetings in the marketplace. Woe to you! You are like unseen graves over which people unknowingly walk. Then one of the scholars of the law said to Jesus in reply, Teacher, by saying this, you are insulting us too. And Jesus said, Woe also to you scholars of the law. You impose on people burdens hard to carry. But you yourselves do not lift one finger to help them, to touch them. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we remember particularly St. Margaret Mary Alacoque, particularly because of her great devotion to the sacred heart of Jesus. And also sort of in a backhanded way, it was on December 27th, which the sacred heart of Jesus appeared to her. The very feast of St. John the Evangelist, so Margaret Alacock could sort of be a secondary uh, devotion to our parish or parish feast day because of the great event that happened on December 27th for St. Margaret Mary where Jesus appeared to her and uh, his heart engulfed in flames saying to her, this is how much love I have for mankind if only people would receive my love, and his heart was surrounded by the crown of thorns, reminding us already how much Jesus has loved us to be crowned with thorns to die on the cross. What happened on the 27th is then Jesus said to Margaret Mary, just like he said or happened to John the Evangelist, he, she, he said, lay your head on my chest. Hear my heart beat. And he said, I want a special day set aside in the church calendar year to celebrate my loving sacred heart. So it's quite a miracle because here is a cloistered nun in a remote village of France and he's asking her to set aside a day for the whole church. Let the Pope know. And it's only through a whole series of other people that the Pope hears. Her spiritual director, a young Jesuit priest, goes to England in England, he has a visit with Queen Elizabeth, and he tells her about the image of the Sacred Heart. A feast day should be set aside. Jesus has so much love for each of us. Receive his love. And the Queen ends up talking to the Pope, and then the Pope eventually moves and studies this great revelation, and eventually a day is set aside in June to celebrate the Sacred Heart of Jesus. 
But when we think about it, every time we come to partake in the Eucharist, we're celebrating and partaking and have that ability of receiving God's great love for you and I. Not that we deserve it, not that our condition is perfect, but this is how much Jesus loves us. Long before any conversion, long before baptism, Jesus was dying for you and I, that our sins may be forgiven, that the gates of heaven would be open. Jesus complains to the Pharisees, you pay tithes, tax on mint and rue, but you pay no attention to judgment and to love for God. When we open our eyes and the eyes of our hearts to the love of God, then all these things that St. Paul is talking about would come naturally. The spirit of of love, joy, peace, patient, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Chances are we struggle with any number of these uh, great gifts and spirits of God, but when we continually know God's flaming love for us, then it is a little more easy in what is our desire but to grow in love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So we pray that we may grow in the wisdom and love of God as we pray for the needs of the church. For our Holy Father, may the Lord bless him, sustain him, and protect him from all evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For lawmakers, may God guide their policy making with love and truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all struggling with mental illness, may the Lord bless them with the help and support they need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us here, may God bless us with the eyes and hearts of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For our beloved dead, may they be brought into heavenly peace in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, holy marriage, permanent diaconate, and single life, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those in public office, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and protect all life, from conception to natural death, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those remembered in our prayer petition thank you book, that through God's everlasting love, they will receive the help they need we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for the deceased Tom Dahlman, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for the people in the hurricane-torn areas for relief and help and generosity and charity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you have given us the gift of your Son's heart May we receive him fully. We ask this in all our needs through Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. 
fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of love we may pass over to the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed saints. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with angels and saints, we give you thanks. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord. You are the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time Jesus betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which would be poured out for you and many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jerome, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, 
and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus always be with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, you take away. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless those called to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
This man's feast harshly, who can listen to his word? We shall no longer follow him. Look beyond the bread you eat. See your Savior. Let us pray. God, our Creator, we ask your majesty most humbly that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, Cast into hell, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Immaculate Heart of Mary, the Lord be with you. And with your May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go in God's peace. O sacrament most holy,